Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun look at the latest release of Kali Linux, Kali uh, Linux version 20, uh, 21.4. Bit of a mouthful, that one there, but 2021.4, so it is the latest release of the year. Now, um, Kali Linux is really based on, uh, it, well, it's actually based on Debian, but its main focus is about being a, a security and, and penetration testing and forensic suite uh, of IT software there to, to get a lot of those back-end techies going and uh, checking their own websites and servers. So it is really, really cool the way that it is. Now, there is a few different desktop environments. This is actually the KDE Plasma desktop environment, as you might have come to know there. Nice and functional there, does what it needs to do. Uh, if we were to maybe jump across to the Explorer for a second and uh, have a look at the, the Dolphin file manager, as you can see there, synonymous very much with any KDE Plasma desktop environments. You can right click in open terminal, something I love to do there. Uh, let's have a look at the apps, something I don't generally talk about with, uh, with Linux distributions, but uh, this is a little bit of a and uh, maybe an exception there because it's it's quite well listed uh, the the different types of uh, forensic IT tools that you can use so zero one inf inf information gathering zero two zero three all the way up to ooh, password attacks up to about zero nine no ooh, even further thirteen social engineering tools so amongst each one of these you can do a lot of cool things now I don't actually know what most of these will do I do have a bit of a, an IT background but um, it's been a few years now, so basically they're, they're, they are testing servers though, SQL servers, injection attacks, all sorts of things like that. So pretty cool, nifty, uh, uh, really IT security focused uh, desktop environment, yeah. Now uh, I guess there is, there's hackers and there's crackers and then, then there's you know other things like ethical hackers. So really it's designed for you hacking your own, uh, legally, your, your own server or software just to see that it is safe from other hackers that will probably be using the exact same tools. So it's quite funny there. Uh, now, if we were to jump into the under the hood, see what's going on. So although it is based on Debian, it is running the one of the rocking one of the latest kernels, 5.14. So stable yet uh, quite recent with that latest kernel there. Well, one of the latest. That's nice to see. Uh, we have uh, let's let's jump across to the CPU and RAM usage. So CPU idling out there, or it was until I said that. And then we've got the RAM usage, so about 950 megabytes of RAM, just under a gigabyte of RAM, uh, straight off the bat on boot up. Nothing else is, is loaded up, save for the operating system itself. But um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it there. Now, one thing I might show you guys is what to do to update the, the software. Usually I'll do this through a terminal, but I would probably recommend you go into the, uh, it's called the Discover. So the, I suppose Discover and what it is right here, it's saying it's the software center. So they call it Discover. You basically load that one up and um, wait for it to fetch updates as it is in order to get those latest updates all the time. It should automatically tell you there uh, to the bottom right but uh, when it does, but it's always handy to know. This is where you can search for apps and things there as well. So there you go. I want an internet app. I'm sure I'll find Chromium or, or, or Firefox here. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.